Peter Dalpena here with Man of the Match JP Kutza and the Chicago Grunewald. Uh, the victorious Namibian side, 139 run win over USA here at the Cricket World Cup League 2 Tri Series in Florida. Congratulations. Historic day for Namibian cricket. An ODI century and a five for in the same match. JP, first man in Namibian history to score an ODI century first. Just what are your thoughts on making history today, especially in, in a victory? I'm very glad about it, Peter. Um, I think we've worked extremely hard to get ODI status in the first time, and now playing in the first ODI series is a big privilege, and a big privilege to be the first Namibian guy to score ODI century and in a winning game. So much sweeter if you win the game. Um, that's what it's all about, this two and a half years, not centuries, but winning games for your country and progressing to World Cup qualifiers. I know JP said the big platform, but for you to come in and spin out USA the way you did Chicago. The pitch has offered a little bit of assistance, not a heavy assist amount of assistance, but spinners have done quite well. You took three wickets in the first match between these guys, five again today. For you, what was the key to you bowling so effectively today? Um, I think it's just bowling wicket to wicket, back of a length, and try, let them try to hit against the spin and against the wind. So if they hit against the wind, it's going to be difficult for them to score boundaries and stuff at the back end. So it's, for me, it's just a ball, wicket to wicket every time I bowl and do what the captain told me to do. Hitting against the wind, brought wickets. JP, you are hitting with the wind quite frequently today. Eight sixes, every single one with the wind yep. over the leg side on the western side of this ground. The wind has been going this way all week, but you're really the first batsman to really exploit it to excellent effect. Why were you able to succeed using the condi conditions to your advantage, not just from the, the far end, but also from the pavilion end? No. You used the reverse sweep to hit with the wind as well. Why were you able to do that so well, whereas so many other players, whether it's left-handed or right-handed, have struggled? Uh, I think we worked out as a team, hitting against this wind, we're not used to wind in Namibia this much, hitting against it won't work, we tried it the first innings, we got out and we just said if the ball's in your area with the wind, a top edge will be six, even on the ground, it's quite a lush outfield, so if you hit it against the wind on a, on the, to the boundary, it won't go, but if you hit it with the wind, there's some assistance even on the ground, and we just tried to explode the wind, um, and they were bowling well in my arc, so... I just was happy to perform today. There was one hit that went over the roof. Two. Two. There was one, <laughs> one on that kind of at the furthest edge of the roof, and then one through this side of the roof. Whether it's this ground or any other ground, and regardless of the wind, have you ever hit sixes that big before? I don't think so. Some guys told me it's some of the biggest I saw, so probably not. It was probably just a uh, good bet, eh? <laughs> Chivago, you come in having struggled as, as much as the team did in the first match. What in particular do you feel was, was the overall key to turning the result around, not just to get a victory, but to get such a lopsided victory considering how badly you were beating the first game? I think it's just being mongrels in, in the field, trying to stop everyone, even though it's a big score we set up. Like, particulars, uh, getting, uh, getting them off guard, Go quickly through the overs. If they see, look, look at the scoreboard, it's like 12 runs, net run, uh, run rate they have to get. So every time we stop a single in the in a, in a circle, we putting pressure on them. So I think being mongrels in the field, that's our motto, being mongrels everywhere we go. And we know the games for our country to get that World Cup, go through to the World Cup one day. Just on the decision to send you guys in at the toss, after the first game, the USA captain Sarvan and Javalkar actually said he felt he got lucky losing the toss. It was a good toss to lose when you, you know, maybe it chose the bat first. Today he won, sent you guys in. Would you have batted first today had you gotten the choice or, or did they do you a favor? Uh, my honest opinion is in the first game I would have also batted first. We didn't bowl as well as we could have, so we gave them three boundary balls in the first innings. So I think the pitch played well today for both sides. I think we just was just better with the ball today, and that was a good wicket, a good batting wicket, but also a good bowling wicket. There's something in, but I think we were just a better bowling side today. Anything else either one of you guys want to say about not just victory, but the historic nature that you guys played as part of that victory? 
Um, I'll say there's two more games left. We're leaving here with three out of four to end with Scotland and them at the top of the table. So when we play on one in January, it's going to be a tough one. I'm just glad we, we won our first game away, our first ODI, and um, we have two more left. And then we have uh, 32 more games left, so we'll make the best of it and we try to win as much as possible, have a good record at the end of the two and a half years and create history with this team. I think we're quite a young team um, with some guys that's got a lot of experience, so we can go all the way in this two and a half years.